Hey everybody, it's Ed. Okay, so we have the Elvis on Tour six CD box set, one Blu-ray slash DVD included of the movie of Elvis on Tour. I have had a chance to listen through the box set. I have not watched the Blu-ray DVD. I have uh, this version which is right here. And when I show you the one in here, it's exactly the same thing. Now, one disappointing aspect of this new release, this, this new box set, was we were hoping, well, I was hoping at least, that the original cut of the movie was going to be put on the Blu-ray meaning that it had the opening with Johnny Be Good and not Teddy Bear, Don't Be Cruel. Was it Teddy Bear, Don't Be Cruel? I believe so, yes. Yes, Teddy Bear and Don't Be Cruel. But, uh, alas, it was not meant to be, as from everybody who I've heard from so far who has checked out the Blu-ray slash DVD release that came with this, it is still the... Teddy Bear, don't be cruel. And not Johnny Be Good. So, the box set, if you saw my Seal to Revealed, came with a book. And we'll get into that. And it came with two pockets with CDs. One has three CDs. I'm sorry, two CDs, rather. And the DVD slash Blu-ray, which I will show you right now. If you look, that picture right there matches my, my shirt. Look at that. I was going to wear that yesterday when I opened this up, but I couldn't find this shirt, and I dug for it All right now to do this review. It's my review of this box set. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I got some, uh, some mixed feelings about it. So as you can see, it is basically an exact copy of the previous one that came out, what? When did this come out? I don't even know if it tells you. Nope, just says 1972. But regardless, I don't know. It's close to 10 years, I think, at this point. But it's the same exact release. So there you have it. Only difference is it comes in this nifty little cardboard holder, which slides into this. Now... Again, one of my gripes, and, and I think a lot of us as, as collectors or CD collectors especially have with these types of releases is the way that they package the CDs and they are so tightly packed in here that you basically got to get your fingerprints on them to pull them out. Then you risk also scratching them against the cardboard, excuse me, which is a pain in the butt. So um, I haven't done it yet, but I, I am definitely going to take them out and put these in jewel cases to help alleviate that. All right. So, and this is the one with the four concerts that compromised, not com uh, the comp uh, not compromised, rather, that comprised the, you know, made up the movie of Elvis on tour. And the concerts um, are really good now all right so what are my thoughts all together on this well to be perfectly honest with you i i wasn't blown away by the sound I, I it didn't it didn't knock my socks off i remember when i first listened to elvis back in nashville or i'm sorry from elvis in nashville and when i first heard those those mixes and and the mastering and everything about it I was I was blown away like unbelievable um maybe it's because it's a different ambience of them being live however the one thing I, I I you know what if anything I think I was more impressed with the rehearsal CDs than I was with the concert CDs um the first concert April 9th 1972 during Oh, man, is it Johnny Be Good? I want to say it's Johnny Be Good. Um, all right, so disc one, CC right. No, I Got a Woman. I Got a Woman, Amen. 
Elvis's microphone kind of it's 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 really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but the rest of the band is present. The, you know, Elvis's voice starts strong, then all of a sudden it like just drops out. You can hear it still, but it's like almost in the background, and 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 it's it's weird. And then all of a sudden it, it pops back on again. So I don't know if it was a mic problem, then he switched microphones, or if it was a mic problem, then all of a sudden the mic just popped on and started working again. If it was an engineering issue, regardless, it's it was it was really weird. Um, but you know, good stuff. But again, I've I've heard bootlegs of these shows, and these didn't stand out as anything better, as far as I thought. Anyway, again, it was there was nothing that really like made my hair stand up. That that you know really like kicked me sonically, and 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 made me pay attention. I mean, don't get me wrong; there were parts of the concert uh, concerts, you know, in general that that did that. But nothing as far as, as the mastering, the mixing, or anything that I found uh, to be anything to write home about. So, I mean, that's really the best way I can put it. I, I, I don't know how else I can put it. It's not terrible. It's not bad. But, again, it, it's, it's nothing that I feel was, is worth waiting 50 years for. It's the, really the best way to put it. All right, I mean, you're talking concerts again from 1972 that have been out there in circulation, one way or another, whether or not Sony RCA Legacy cared or not, they were out there. So the fact of the matter is that we had to wait 50 years as fans. All right, and I'm a young fan in 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 the scope of things. I mean. Again, it's relative, but I, you know, think of my parents and, and, and that fan group or, you know, even, even older and, you know, again, 50 years and they, they couldn't even release everything after 50 years. And by everything, I mean all the filmed, you know, footage that they have from these concerts, um, So here's here's my thoughts on the whole thing. Yeah, this is nice. I'm glad we finally got it, and I don't want to sound ungrateful. At the same time, it's I feel it's too little, too late. Um, and again, none of the film, with the exception of, of of the actual movie itself on tour, you know. But we have four concerts here that were obviously filmed to make the movie, so. Why do we not have that? Why do we not have those films synced up with the audio and available to us with this 50 years later? I, so, I don't know. I think the sales on this, whatever, you know, the initial pre-sales were, I, I, I think that was it. I think that was it. This is not going to be a hit. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to be a swing and a miss. If I'm wrong, then wonderful. But... Um, you know, you, you're not going to bring in the younger crowd with this. You're not going to bring in the new fan base with this. I, you know, I don't think so. But again, I hope I'm wrong. I truly do. Uh, the recordings, again, in my opinion, as far as the concerts go, nothing to write home about as far as the sound quality goes. I did enjoy the the rehearsal discs, five and six, a lot more. Um, you know, so there's that. That's pretty much it. I, I don't know. Is it much of a review? Can I, re you know, recommend this? Well, of, of, of course I want to recommend it. And, um, I, you know, if, if I, I can't not recommend it. I, so <laughs> double negative means it's a positive, meaning that I, I, I do kind of have to recommend it, even though I'm on the fence about it in the sense of, of, you know, personal feelings of it waiting 50 years to get it and they still couldn't get it right. You know, and the other issue that I brought up in an earlier video is that in the credits where they list all the musicians, they, they, they left out Ronnie Tut, drummer extraordinaire. Ronnie Tut was left out of the credits of the musicians, which is unbelievable. 
unreal, in my opinion. Hard-working Ronnie Tut from Dallas, Texas, does not deserve to be left out of the credits for something that he featured so prominently on, especially in these recordings. He's phenomenal. His drumming is, is just amazing. So, respect, Ronnie. Sony Legacy couldn't give it to you, but we here at the King's Court give you the utmost respect, Ronnie Tut. All right, everybody, I do appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think. If you got this, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, do you agree with me on anything? Do you disagree with me on anything? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Love to hear from you. All right. I do appreciate you all. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Take care.